Oh hey, here I bring you the best meal prep recipe that you're going to have. So if you're someone who loves to prep their meals in advance for lunch or for dinner, this, me and Mitch hyper fixated on this for months and it was so good because it's just something that you can, it's cheap firstly and it's secondly, it just lasts in the fridge really well over the three, four, five days. So we love it. So this is a spicy beef. We're pairing it with rice. You can pair it with noodles, pasta, whatever you like, but this it's so good. So here we go. We've got some onion. We're going to cut this up first. Everything in this recipe is going in the same pan and it's going to be cooked together. So we're cooked, we're cutting it, chopping it, whatever, very roughly. Honestly, it absolutely does not matter. So we don't need to be like super precious on how it's cut or whatever. Just as long as it's sort of like the same and width and size so that we can cook evenly, that's okay. So here we go. We're just going to dice this really easy. Anyone else get really like bad anxiety dicing an onion? I just feel like I'm just gonna cry the entire time. Okay, that's going in the corner. So we have onion there. Now we have garlic. Actually, no, we'll do the we'll do the other ingredients. Garlic can go last because that's a whatever. But we do have three big garlics, which makes me happy. So capsicum. You can use literally any vegetable that you like in this recipe, but I love red capsicum and I love zucchini. We also did this one with beans for a bit. It was so good. It's just delicious. Actually, I've got some beans. So we're gonna add that in. I've actually got a whole bowl here that I'm pretty sure is for another recipe, but it's OG. <laughs> we're gonna use it. We're gonna leave, we'll use half. We'll share. So with the capsicum, down the slide, you're gonna down the slide, down the middle, and then we are gonna just cut it into strips. Long, short, whatever you like. I'm just gonna cut it into thin strips because these these cut down, these cook down so much that you barely will see them by the end of it. You can swap for a Anything, broccoli, anything. More mushrooms, you want something a bit more bulked. All right, capsicum's done. Now, with the beans, I'm gonna use, well, I'll just take a big hand. Just return those where they belong. <laughs> We're gonna do bite-sized pieces again, so I'm just gonna chuck this whole thing together. We'll just hope for the best. Chuck them. Now, with the rest, we're gonna grate them, and you're probably like, Leah, how are you grating up mushrooms? But just you wait. So. Grating mushrooms is perfect for people who want to hide things. If you want to hide things from your kids, as if I'm whispering, as if my child is here, you want to hide them, grate them. So small side of the grater, you want the button mushrooms that are a little bit more firm. And the reason why you want that is because you want to be able to push it against the grater and actually grate it properly. So we're going to grate the mushroom. And then this cooks down to literally nothing and you can barely see it. So perfect for things like bolognese or anything like that that you just want to hide. Check out that. How good, you just get that added extra veg in and you just don't, it's not, you don't feel like you're, it's bulked. So here we go, just going to grate all of them. Perfect, now we have a zucchini. Again, we're gonna grate this, so we get the entire zucchini small side, just while the mushrooms are in the, at the bottom, that's fine. Grate the whole thing. And the reason why I grate them on the small grater is I do, I do this with anything that I make. I prefer it being small, because I just don't like biting into big chunks, if that makes sense. Especially when this, with this kind of recipe, you can eat this with a spoon. Like, it's so easy to eat that you don't really want big chunky things for veggies. Done. Actually, while we're here, while we're making a mountain of things underneath this, let's grate the garlic. So we've got garlic here. So we've got three big garlics. Again, you want at least, at least half your hand filled with garlic and then you know that that's the perfect amount. All right. Straight in. All right, perfect. So all of that garlic, the mushroom and the zucchini is all there. That's all gonna go in the same time, so that's perfect. Now with this chili, we're just gonna maybe use a quarter of it, because in the dressing, we actually have cayenne pepper, which is what makes it really spicy. And cayenne pepper is one of those things that you use, and then you realize that too late, that it's too hot. So <laughs> we're just gonna use a quarter of the chili, and then that's all cut, everything's done. We also have some Thai basil. Thai basil smells so incredible. Now this is like, I would say the main ingredient in this recipe, this and the fennel seeds, give it that like delicious flavor. So if you can't find Thai basil, try and call around to like some green grocers or something like that, rather than the bigger supermarkets because they usually have them. It is important, I promise you, it's so good. All right, we are done here. We're gonna be over on the pan and let's just put it all together. All right, so our wok is ready. So we have some olive oil in the bottom of it. We got some onion and chili go first with the fennel seeds. So put that in. You want it to be hot before it goes in. All the onion. And then we're gonna throw those fennel seeds in now so that they cook and then they, all that fragrance comes through the whole time when we're cooking. 
I love. I love them so much. Yum. So we're gonna cook that until it's light and soft. We're gonna add the mushrooms and zucchini. And then once that water's evaporated, we're then gonna add all the mints in. So then we add these bigger veg in almost like last minute. All right, here we go. Soft veggies go in. So that actually has that garlic in there as well. So throw that in. We're gonna cook that down again until that water evaporates because you don't want all that to be just stuck at the bottom. You just want it to get, get it rid of it, cook it off, add the mints in. Now we're gonna add that mince in. So I'm using beef mince today. We're gonna to cut all of that up. Or actually, use my little mince tool, which mum got, I was very excited about that. So we're gonna cook this, I reckon halfway cooked, and then we're gonna add the extra veg in. Alrighty, here we go. Rest of the stuff goes in, plus that little bit of Thai basil. Throw it in now, and you really, you really start to smell that. It smells so good. Oopsies. It smells so good and so fresh. So. Stir that around. Once all the vegetables are cooked, we can put in our dressing. So everything's cooked, we're ready to run. So this is our dressing. So this is oyster sauce, soy sauce, cayenne pepper, and a little bit of sesame oil. We're gonna throw that straight in here. Not all of it, we'll just see how much we kind of need. Mix that around, let it caramelize, and just coat everything evenly. Right, come and check that. Oh, so good, it smells amazing. So with this, like I said before, you can serve it with whatever you like. I like serving it with brown rice or white rice. Uh, completely up to you. It's a really good meal prep thing. So rice is such an easy one. This is literally just like the 90 second pack of rice. It's so good. So I'm gonna chuck some in on top. And do you know what a little, I call it a sneaker, like a sneaky, delicious secret is I used to, well, when we used to have this and I will be having it today, is putting a little bit of koopy mayo on the top. Oh, like the most perfect addition. A little bit of sesame, just because I like the little look of sesame. And then that is it, all done. Check out that. Your next meal prep is sorted. So again, recipe is in the description, all, everything that you need to know in the description. If you like this recipe and you like my other ones, please subscribe, I'm I like, I can't, I'm so excited that we're doing this and I'm so excited to bring you this delicious recipe. So I'm hoping that you love it. So if you do, please leave me a comment, let me know and just enjoy this recipe and I'll see you next week.